It's my pleasure today to welcome Professor Frank Andre Siebert from Kiel University in Germany. He's visiting us here in Kuwait uh, in November 2022 as a speaker and uh, a guest uh, moderator in the uh, Prachytherapy Physics Workshop in November 2022. Uh, Professor uh, Siebert, uh, he is the chief uh, medical uh, uh, physicist in uh, the Radiation Oncology Department in Keele University, and he's also the chairman of the uh, Jack Estro Group for Brachytherapy Physics. Uh, and he is on the editorial board uh, on the uh, Brachytherapy Journal, uh, Radiotherapy and Oncology, uh, and Radiation Oncology. Thank you uh, Welcome, much, yeah. uh, Professor Siebert, and we are very happy to have you here in Kuwait. Um, if you can tell us a bit about how did you get in the field of medical physics and what interested you in radiotherapy specifically? Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for the kind words. Um, I feel very honored to be here in, in Kuwait and be invited at this workshop. Uh, I, I started to study physics, pure physics or applied physics at, at Kiel University. And during my PhD or for the PhD topic, I changed a little bit from normal physics or even oceanography was uh, these days to uh, medical physics. And, and uh, that was a very important step in my life. Uh, I, I learned about dosimetry and imaging, and uh, then I uh, started to work after my PhD in, in the clinic of radiotherapy. And um, you ask about brachytherapy, then I, I learned a quite famous uh, doctor in brachytherapy, Professor Kovac, who were these days in, in, in Kiel and we worked together. Uh, and um, there I liked, started to like brachytherapy and, and uh, work with him in some research project. And so it and go on and, and, and goes on and I'm still in brachytherapy and I really like this field of uh, radiotherapy. Great. Can you tell us a bit about the difference between external beam radiotherapy and brachytherapy? Just for yes. the people from the radiotherapy, yes, not from yes. the radiotherapy. So for, um, both are fields in radiotherapy yeah. and both um, try typically to treat tumor patients mm -hmm. or patients with, with, with tumors. And uh, for external radiotherapy, we treat the patient from the outside. That means we irradiate through the whole body or part of the body until we reach the tumor with our um, X-rays or electrons. And in brachytherapy, it's vice versa. So there we come from the inside. So we bring the source directly to the target and um, treat very close to the target. And this has the benefit that it's, it's easier to find the target. So we really are inside it. And if the target moves, we're in the target. And because we can control this very good, we can give higher doses. And this can bring better outcome to the patients. Great. Um... Can you tell us more about their department in uh, Keele University? How many maybe linear accelerators do you have? How many patients do you usually treat? And are you more focused in brachytherapy or would you say it's 50-50? So um, I'm living in a university clinic or working in a university clinic with uh, three Linux and two brachytherapy uh, afterloaders. It's a middle large clinic for, for, for Germany. We have a patient load of about 1,300 patients per year. And we have a small specialization in regard to brachytherapy. Uh, we have, I don't know, 250, 300 brachytherapy patients per year about, with a little bit of focus of prostate. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. most brachytherapy patients are mm -hmm. gynae patients. And we have got also other specialities. So we uh, started to, to uh, work on adaptive therapy with new treatment machines. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a history of TBI, mm -hmm. total body irra irradiation. And uh, so these are our main aspects in That's our great. field. Uh, you are the chairman of the Jack Astro, uh, Astro Group for Brachytherapy Physics. Can you yeah. tell us a bit about this group and what does it actually do and what's the goals and aim of it? Yeah, so the, this uh, group is called Brafix. It consists now of uh, 16 members, all are uh, experts in, in, in the field that are medical physicists from all over Europe. And we've got also one um, member from the US, it's Mark Rivert, quite, quite famous medical physicist. Mm -hmm. And um, the group works on dedicated project in brachytherapy QA. So we are 
establishing and uh, working on recommendations, for example. So our mm -hmm. last paper that just uh, were published, I think, three weeks ago in the Green Journal, first author is Jose Caladeu. It's about um, HDR calibration of sources at the mm -hmm. clinical level. Mm -hmm. So these experts in graphics, we try to find out very important topics in brachytherapy physics and mm -hmm. QA. And um, with this core group of 16 members, or maybe in extended group, we have, have a network group also, uh, we are working on these work packages. Uh, until now, we had, I think, 22 work packages. Mm -hmm. Not all are finalized. I think about, uh, I don't know, 16 or 17 are finalized with publications or chapters in books or so. And others are ongoing, as for example, the, the um, uh, work uh, web page of the TG43 database where everybody has got access and can download the, the data for their sources. Oh, that's great. Uh, in your opinion, uh, where do you think the field of radiotherapy is going, especially brachytherapy? Where do, where, where do you think we are mostly focusing on? What is the future for us? Mm, yeah, it's an it's a important question <laughs> and, and, and it's not so easy to, to answer, to be honest. Um, I think brachytherapy will again increase because um, of the good te techniques that we have now. Mm -hmm. And we have got very good imaging. Mm -hmm. We had imaging or uh, MR imaging, for example, since in uh, 15 years. But now it will increase. I'm quite sure about it. We will have uh, better ultrasound imaging. Mm -hmm. And um, what's important, in my opinion, also is that brachytherapy should be implemented in the whole uh, radiotherapy. So not so. You should not see brachytherapy as a part uh, uh, somewhere mm -hmm. in, in radiotherapy, but really it, it should be belong to the whole radiotherapy concept, and and to work this out together with the external beam people and brachytherapy people. That is, I think, of benefit for for um, uh, the patient. Yeah, but brachytherapy is a bit hard to implement and integrate into a radiotherapy department, don't you think? <laughs> a bit, a bit uh, challenging. I wasn't say it hard. Can. Yeah. If you have no brachytherapy history, yeah. um, then it could be, I can't say hard, but um, yeah, you have, have, have to work, to have yeah. to have work on it. So you have to co convince the people, um, you have to train them, mm -hmm. and, but there are some, some offers, of, of, of course, in particular um, ESTRO or a ABS, they offer training courses. Um, then you can, can go, for example, to another hospital where brachytherapy is performed, mm -hmm. and, and this can help. And the many procedures, also in brachytherapy, uh, um, are um, automatic, for example. So the, the, the inverse planning can, can be used. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary to, to perform forward planning, but you just have to implement your, your dose constraints and see what, what the um, GPS gives you, so the treatment planning system, and then the physicist can check, optimize a little bit, and then you're done. So I think the workload today is not so much as maybe mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Okay, that's great to hear. Um, again, we are very uh, happy to have you here in Kuwait. And do you have any uh, last words you would like to share with us? Any words of wisdom? Oh, for, the oh, thank, thank <laughs> uh, so, for the newcomers also, for the newcomers especially. <laughs> um, so far, I'm 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 uh, very happy and and very surprised. So we had uh, mm. half, half a day of the workshop here of the high quality of the talks that we okay. heard here from from your, your We're colleagues. Happy to hear that, yes. Yeah, <laughs> really, I'm I'm very happy to see this and and um, yeah. Uh, if, if I can help a little bit to, to push brachytherapy here in, in Kuwait and in, in this region, I would be more happy of this. And yeah, I am looking forward to this afternoon and to the next days. Thank you.